everyone. Welcome back. If you haven't been here before, my name is Carrie Waltz. I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. Today is going to be focused on a simple way and inexpensive way to frame a piece that's nine inches or smaller. I have been working with watercolor lately and pastel, and they have to go under glass. This happens to be plexiglass, and I'm always looking for a way to do that in a reasonable, uh, reasonably inexpensive way. This is a pastel that I framed, and this is the mat that comes with the frame. It's five by five inches open, but the watercolor that I did recently was eight and a half by eight and a half, and so it was way too big for the opening of the mat, so I decided instead of, of recutting another mat that I would just tape it on top of the mat. Sorry about the glare. I've got stuff going on in the room, but it worked out really well, and I thought, okay, this is a good way for me to, to create art, pop it in a frame, have it ready to show. Now, at plein air events, and, and I'm going to be going to one in March, if you want to participate in that, when you're through with painting, you have to frame it and have it ready for display. So if yours is chosen to go to the gallery, then there it's ready. It's got to be ready to hang. And ready to hang means it usually is required. You have to look at the prospectus of what you uh, entered or the, the competition you're in. And it usually says re gallery ready to hang. And that means it's wired. Well, this doesn't come with a wire. So I had to figure out a way to put one on there that didn't hurt the frame. And I did. I was so excited. So just the reason why you have to have a wire is the galleries, the way the walls have um, hooks that are made to attach to the artwork. And if you don't have any slack back here, and this uh, on the back has no slack, if you don't have any slack to get it over the particular hook, then a lot of the galleries can't use it. So that's why it's required. So I'm going to shift the camera and show you how it's done. All right. When I I, before I had the wire in, I just pulled up these little tabs. And you have to make sure your frame has these before you use this method, otherwise it won't work. Okay. All right. So here my watercolor is attached to the mat. I just used painter's tape because this is just temporary for right now. I just wanted to show you. And I cut the wire that's long enough to wrap all the way around and have some slack. Then I laid it down in here and I pulled these wires to where they would be right below that tab. See, so it's right below that tab. So when I push that tab down and the wire comes up, that is not because because the tab comes from the frame, it's not going to slip. So I didn't show you how I secured the wire, but I wrapped them back, you know, hooked one to the other and uh, did a did a loop, tied it kind of like a fishing line. Anyway, I think you can figure it out. You you do it to where it's tight, and then I crimp it so it doesn't slide. And you want to make sure that there's enough slack that the gallery or whoever's hanging it can um, reach that wire and hang it. Does not hurt your frame. And when your show is over, if you're not going to hang it on the wall, if you're going to just lean, you can either stand stand this up like so on a shelf, or use the uh, back angled. I don't know what you call that stand. See? And it can lean on a table or a shelf. But I I just figured there had to be a way to use this without marring the frame and that it would be an easy way to frame my work. I believe these are at Ikea and I just checked online and it was $6.99 a frame. So, man, you can't beat that for a nice looking frame. Something that um, will hold, well, nine inches about is about it. That paper was, I believe, eight and a half. So... Anyway, you can figure it out. It also comes in white, so hope this video is helpful and you find something useful on my channel. Please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate those of you who have already done that for me. Let me know how I can help. Have a fantastic day. Come back and see me next week.